was popping. Hello, we are here with that APA Draft League content. And this is going to be week five, which um, is going to be a fun match. We're taking on my boy Kyle A. And he's been doing really well too. Not just in this draft, but in like every draft he's been playing in. He's been doing well uh, as of recent. Right now, I think he's 3-1. Uh, we're 4-0 right now in the league. So we're doing really well. Of course, the goal is getting to playoffs, which I don't think is a problem for either of us. But um, let's take a deep dive into his team here. As you can see, he's bringing Clefairy, Eldegoss, Hitmontop, Incineroar, Jirachi, uh, Melmetal, Noivern, Quillfish, Rotom Wash, Rune Ridges, and Silvali. And Silvali can run any, any type it wants to, um, de depending on the matchup. So I'm sure that that will probably make an appearance. Um, but yeah, like his team is very threatening. He has the G-Max Melmetal, uh, that Pokemon. I never really faced a G-Max Melmetal before. Um, I know that it's signature move, uh, the meltdown move, it's, um, the effect is like torment, so you have to keep switching moves, uh, and can't use the same one move twice, so that's something we might have to play around a little bit, but G-Max Melmetal is super, super bulky, the reason he can use it is because it's, um, a land mode thing, so he can use, he can hack Pokemon and bring it in and, uh, and use it like that, since it doesn't have a Wi-Fi or internet kind of check where, I guess, the online battles have, but, um, but yeah, it should be interesting to face. My Grimmsnarl is um, not making an appearance this week. I've been bringing Grimmsnarl literally every week of every draft league that I've played. Like, it's such a good mod, but I wanted to see if we could win without it. And uh, I, I guess another reason for that is because he has a lot of great Pokemon versus it. Um, G-Max Melmetal has a fantastic typing versus myself, uh, my own G-Max. So there's that as well as Jirachi and Quillfish and stuff. So I don't know if I should bring it or not. I think that um, maybe we'll see what we can do without it. The way that I started this team off was with Darmanitan. Even though he has Intimidators like uh, Incineroar, Quillfish and stuff, Darmanitan puts a lot of pressure on his Steel types, which I definitely think will be making an appearance. And it also gives me momentum with U-Turn, which means that if he goes into one of his Intimidators and I U-Turn, it positions myself really well. So I'm using Darmanitan as sort of a positioning mod in this, uh, in this match here. I think it can do really well. And has some good coverage, even to hit the Pokemon that would otherwise try to switch in, like Rockslide for, um, I mean, Rockslide hits things such as the Noivern and the Incineroar, while Earthquake also hits Incineroar, and also hits Quillfish and Jirachi and other stuff too. Um, Flare Bliss is just a really clickable move, but, um, it'll be a bit weaker if we, if he brings his Intimidate Mons, which he has like three of. He has Incineroar, um, Incineroar as well as Hitmontop and Quillfish and stuff, so it could be annoying. But I figured, you know, the momentum would be kind of nice. Uh, then we have uh, Toxtricity. And I'm running an AV Chinese Toxtricity here with uh, with Nuzzle. And I want to bring Nuzzle because of the fact that it can paralyze things uh, and be faster than it. Like, for instance, Noivern, it can eat up the Hurricanes, eat up the Dragon Pulses and stuff. Even take a Draco Meteor from a Heavy Duty Boots uh, set and live the next one. Um, so it's it's pretty nice. Snarl is there to hit the uh, the Rune as it does some pretty solid damage to that. Um, I like this Pokemon a lot because it uh, it sort of deals a lot with this team and, and breaks it down, uh, especially if he brings like a fatter a fatter build like with um, more defensive Pokemon. This is really good for that. Uh, then we have here Cobalion, which is there for the purpose of um, just being an, an offensive threat. It's faster than Jirachi, which is why I wanted to bring it. And... Um, with sub SD, we're actually able to live a Scald from Quillfish and not get our sub broken, which is really good overall. Um, I do like that a lot on uh, on Cobalion. And then we have Noivern, which is there with Heavy Duty Boots. Um, running max speed to see if we can outrun or speed tide the Noivern if we have to. But I was tempted to go like lower speed just to outrun other certain stuff and not really risk a speed tide. But I think it'll be fine. It's a good Pokemon. Dragon Pulse Flamethrower, and uh, Flamethrower actually hits um, Jirachi and Melmetal really hard. Melmetal especially, because that thing does not have the best Bidef, I think. Um, and then, of course, this is our Defogger for the team. And uh, we don't bring any Stealth Rocks here. I, I didn't bring any, just because I didn't think it would be needed. He has uh, the option for Heavy Duty Boots on a lot of his Pokemon that are weak to Rocks. So, I have that. And then Gastrodon here, which is a bulkier set. Um, it's nice with Rocky Helmet, because it can... Um, you can take the double iron bash from no metal and deal two rounds of rocky helmet <laughs> so it's always fun to do, uh, to do that on multi-hitting pokemon 
Um, and then we have, of course, the Toxic for like the Rotom and stuff. Um, it's called Earth Power. It just hits everything pretty well, I guess. And then finally, Necrozma, which is there for Rock Polish Calm Mind. Weakness Policy Sweeping. Um, not running Sword Power here because Sword Power is a cursed move, as you already know. And uh, and yeah, like it's a pretty fun fun set here. Balanced defenses with the 12-12 and then the 20. This is enough speed to outrun Scarf Jirachi after us going for the Rock Polish. And um, yeah, it's, it hits everything uh, at least neutrally with uh, the, these two coverage moves here. I'm excited to play him. I, I know that he brings a lot of fun stuff. So let's see if he brings heat for this matchup in particular. And um, let's get right into it. So battle should start soon. I, th I know he told me that he has to do a... Uh, like an intro or something uh, before. So once that's ready out of the way, we'll uh, get right into it and queue into the game and I'll uh, see you guys there. What's going on everyone? What is poppin'? We are here today for APA week five. And um, yeah, I'm going to be taking on my buddy Kyle A. As you guys saw from the team builder, he is um, rocking a pretty powerful team. I've not decided to bring my Gigantamax. I wanted to see how it will work. I don't think it's that great in this matchup in particular, but... We'll see how it goes, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. See what he decides to bring. I'm very, very curious to see what he brings. Um, so we'll see what happens, and let's see what he has here. So he is deciding to bring the Silvali. Um, I guess I kind of expected these mons to come. He brought Incineroar and Quillfish, so he has the double Intimidate core. Parting Shot core as well. So Silvali, Quillfish... Uh, Noivern, figured he'd bring that. G-Max Melmetal. Now, trying to figure out what the Jirachi set's going to be is going to be the challenge, because Jirachi is an absolutely fantastic mon. And Incineroar. Okay, so I think, I mean, leading off Darmanitan's fine. It gives us momentum versus pretty much everything. We can kind of see what his potential leads are. So I, I'm kind of in the mood to lead Darmanitan. Um, and we have our defogger too, so should be fine. Let's go ahead and lead Darmanitan. Uh huh. All right. So the matchup is all right, I guess. I mean, he has his Gigantamax, but I don't. So we just have to play around that, and then I think we'll be fine. But let's start it off and see what we can do. Kind of curious if he decided to bring some heat or something, but we will see. <laughs> Alright, the Incineroar lead. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that is going to be his lead of choice, as we do have our Darmanitan here. Does get the Intimidate off, which is okay. So here, I mean, I can just go for the U-turn. Uh, and I could probably go into Gastrodon. He'll get Rocky Hema Chip. I have the chance of getting knocked out, though, of course. Um, I could also go into Cobalion here, predicting knockoff, but... Um, U-turn is still our play. Does stay in. Excellent, excellent. So the question is, do I want to go Gastrodon here or do I want to go into Musketeer? Because I don't think he would... Well, I mean, he could Earthquake too. So I guess Gastrodon's probably better. I have Helmet just for the uh, double Iron Bash, but even then, like, he'll just take Animax and avoid the Rocky Helmet. So we'll go Gastrodon. See what he does here. Goes for the bulk up. Okay. So he's a bulk up Incineroar. Good to know. I'm I should be able to just Earth Power, I think. He could switch out, but no he flame charges. So he's trying to set up on my, uh, on this thing, which I'm not sure about. Because we are going to hit this up for some good damage. And one more attack, he will get knocked out. 
Oh, weakness policy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So he only has one flame charge boost. Hmm. That might mean I have to lose Gastro then. Um. So I guess what my play would probably have to be then would be to... Ooh, that's tough. Plus three... So I guess I, I mean, I kind of need Gastrodon a little bit more. So I could go into Musketeer. Oh, he's Power Trip. Okay. So to, I guess to avoid, so he might flame charge here. Is power trip a contact move? I'm not sure. But as long as, I, so as long as he doesn't flame charge again, like, so I, I can't stay in, of course, because he could be faster. So let's say we go back to Gastro here. Should he decide to flame charge again? Um, that'll be great. Yep, beautiful. So we, we end up keeping Gastrodon. We do weaken Cobalion a bit, we end up but we end up keeping all of our Mons. So that's what what I really wanted to do there. Got rid of the instant horse. Yeah, exactly, because we could not let him get plus two. Otherwise then he might have been faster than Darm. Maybe. So best of both worlds in that scenario. If we power tripped again, then our Darmanitan would be able to outrun it because it's only plus one speed but that's a big threat right off the bat um okay in comes Neuvern here he frisks and finds my rocky helmet of course um not sure what set he could be on this Neuvern uh however what I could possibly do is go into um my AV I could go into my AV toxicity maybe that could be an option I am designed to take any hit from this thing um and live another hit after that. And that also should allow me to nuzzle as well. Which will be really nice. But let's see what he goes for. He goes for the uh, Draco Meteor. Okay. We can take this. Oh, that's Choice Specs though. Hold up. That is a Choice Specs Neuvern. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but... Huh. So he, he has a lot of hard hitters. Yeah, that Specs Pokemon is going to be very annoying. Um, I guess I could try to nuzzle here. But he'll Draco again. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, he's lost Incineroar, which is really good. But I didn't want to lose Gastro because I thought Gastro could be kind of useful, especially if I heal up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into probably Necrozma here, actually. I'm going to bring this thing in, right? And what I could probably do is Earth Power straight up. And I want to Earth Power here and not try to set up just yet because... I feel like he would switch, first of all, into maybe one of his uh, steel types. And I don't know what his, uh, I don't know what his Silvalli set is. So I figure I could probably just Earth Power here. I don't think he'd Draco yet again. That would not make sense. So I'm going to Earth Power. Yep. And that could probably set up later, because this is a huge Wincon. Alright, what is this Pokemon going to be? It could be Ghost, actually. So we'll get some good damage, and that's really good chip, actually. Um, can I see the info of this thing? This is Ghost. Yep, yep. Hmm, so what can we do here? 
What could we do here? So I could probably go into, um, uh, maybe I could sack Musketeer. I'm not sure what set he is on this thing, but I think we can switch out. Because I don't think we need to set up just yet. I, I really want to burn the uh, the G Max on uh, on his Mel Metal first if I can. Multi attack, okay. I wonder if we can live this. Hmm, maybe not. Okay. So I'm gonna bring in. Good old uh, Darmanitan. And I'm finally just clicking Flare Blitz. Even if he goes into Quillfish, I can go into Noivern right after. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just Flare Blitz here. So you will switch out, I think. Who is this guy? Quillfish? That's fine. And this is, I think, full Fizz Def. So we're going to go into Noivern here, I think is the play. So Necrozma, definitely the win con for this game. In this matchup in particular, actually my Gigantamax would have been amazing <laughs> to bring. Uh, but I didn't think that it would be that great with what he had. Well, I mean, I guess he has two Steel types. He doubles, okay. Goes into uh, Noivern. So, I mean, this could be a speed tie if he wants to make it one. Um, hmm. What could I do here? I mean, I could go Gastro, but he could lock himself in a Hurricane. So I could probably just Dragon Pulse here. Hmm. Yeah, I really wish I brought my Gigantamax for this matchup. Let's uh let's see what we can do actually. We could just rock polish up here, I think. So I could combine here to get plus um, plus three. I also have the um, what do you call it? I also have the weakness policy on my thing too. Though I don't know if Mel Metal can live or not. Actually, I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna combine here. I think combine is the play because Necrozma is a pretty big win con. And he is Ghost, right? So I'm pretty sure we can knock it out.
So he decides to, let's see, what do you, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the multi-attack, maybe. We got the Rock Polish Combine. Goes to the multi-attack. So we'll activate our weakness policy. And the side shock will definitely take it out. And I'm kind of curious to see whether or not Earth Power will destroy the um the Mel Metal even through G Max. I'm kind of curious about that. Because it's Spadef is not that great. And it can't run any items either. But this will definitely take this out. Yep. So just like he tried to go for a game with Incineroar turn 1, which kind of took me back a little bit, um, we're going to try to come through with this Necrozma set. So yep, then in comes the uh, the threat. I think we will just Earth Power here. If I could just Dynamax, <laughs> that'd be too good. Uh, but I can't. Uh, let's Earth Power here. So I'm not sure how much uh, defense he's put into it. That thing is a monster. Please knock it out. Please. Not quite enough. So he will knock us out here. Um, which means that we can go into our... I mean, I guess... Yeah, I guess we go into this. We'll probably go for the uh, Flare Blitz here. Size to save, okay. Probably go Quillfish or something. And he has the, uh, the berry. It's going to be Citrus, all right. He, he would probably double here. No, he actually sets up spikes, okay. Um, that's not bad, I guess. Can just go for the Recover. So he would probably go Noivern here, I would I would assume. Yep, switches out. No, into uh Okay. So Gastro's naturally faster than this thing, unless he has speed on it. So we can just earth power here. To knock this thing out. Oh, he's actually faster. Okay. So he sets speed on that then. 
Which means I should have recovered. Uh, but I got flinched anyway, so it doesn't matter. It has a good chance of it. I think. Like 50. 50 something or 50. So what could I have done differently here in this game? Um, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have gone hard Toxtricity. I thought I could take the hit because in theory I was thinking about like all the heavy duty boot sets and stuff. But um, Specs was definitely a good option for him. Okay, so we are back to full. I don't know if it would have knocked this out from that range, but we can actually just find out now. Uh, okay. <laughs> How many has he used? He's used a, he's used a couple. This one I think is probably his fifth one. Um, we might have been able to live from the range that we were at. It's close, but I think we might have. So now, I think what we do is we Earth Power, predicting the switch out. He only has, I think, uh, like two or three Drakers left. Hey, if the game gives me fortune, I'll take it, <laughs> but this is uh, unfortunate for him. Though I would have recovered a second time. I wouldn't have been able to make this play if he uh, dropped the first Draco. I would have recovered again. Should I live that, which I might have. I mean, I'll, I'll check it later. Man, if I had my G-Max, that would have been so nice. But it's all... Good. I have ne I've never not brought my G Max once before. All right, he goes into Jirachi, so we get nice and clean damage off here. I'm not sure if he has Energy Ball or not, but my play would probably be to scout for it and go into uh, our uh, our little guy, Baby Chimp, because then we could just U-turn. I'm pretty sure we live after a spike as well um, with our Gastro. He turns out though, okay. So that's actually not bad. So I assume then our play would be to, I believe, go for... So if he's U-turn, he's probably Scarfed. Yeah, he goes into this thing, that's fine. So I think we 100% U-turn out here. Yep, you turn to the play. And let me go into Gastro Recover Up. So the game's not over yet. I could have played it a bit better or prepped a bit better, actually. Because I think his prep is a little bit better than mine in this matchup. Okay, okay. So I think our play here is to recover just in case he Destiny Bonds. Don't know if he has Toxic or not. But I think we recover here. To get back to full. Yeah, he does Destiny Bond, yep. And so now like he can't go for it again. He can't go for it twice in a row. The mechanics in uh, for Destiny Bond means you cannot... It's not like Protect either. Um, it always fails the second time you use it. So we can now go for the Earth Power. So he can't really click it again. Oh, 
Oh, he booms though. That's a really good play on his part. Um, due to the fact that now he can knock me out with Noivern. Mmm. Yeah. I should have recovered again, maybe. But I thought that would be the play, because I thought he'd maybe switch out. I, I I mean that was good. That was good. That was really good. Um Okay. So then our play would be to lock ourselves into Rock Slide. I can't flinch Jirachi or anything either, but... Um, I mean, if we dodge, we win the game right now. <laughs> but, nah, we got, we got a little fortunate. Yeah, so he will knock us out here. Good play on his part. I should have recovered again, I think. Uh, would be Would have been my better play. Um, yeah. So I think Scarf Jirachi will be faster than me too. Which will knock me out. And we don't even knock that out. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> but the fortune. Um, if that happened the turn before, we would have won. But I mean, nah, it's all good. No, Kyle, Kyle should have won this game. So we got the differential down a lot. Now this puts us at, I think, 4 and 1. So we're still doing fine. Um, playoffs is pretty guaranteed. Um, see, we are locked in. We have to lock ourselves in the rock. I mean, he could miss, like, Zen Headbutts or something, too. Yeah, uh, we can't flinch him because of sheer force, but <laughs> it'd be kind of funny. Nah, but, um... Solid game overall. Um, he brought a lot of great stuff that I enjoyed seeing. The power trip set was very, very heat. Iron Knight's here. We do live. Yep, and that's going to be game. So, uh, yeah, fun game overall. Fun sets. Uh, we played pretty decently, I think. And, uh, and yeah, he's going to take the game 1-0. So he uh, gives us an L in this one, which is perfectly fine. Enjoyed the game, buddy. GG. And... Uh, Best of luck throughout the rest of the season. He also beat uh, Chimpact, if I'm not mistaken, 1-0 uh, as well, just like me. So, uh, I mean, this man's on the come up, so I encourage you all to check him out. A uh, really good friend of mine and has some fantastic content. He also, I think, hit me up to uh, record too. Um, so we might also do that as well uh, soon. So I encourage you all to uh, check that out as well. And, um, and yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Um, we look forward to hearing from you all as usual. And... And we'll just uh, we'll just try to build stronger versus him potentially in the playoffs. Um, I have another idea of what I can bring versus him. Every, every time I lose, I'm always thinking like, okay, how can I uh, revise this uh, this build or strategy or whatever if I uh, do rematch? Uh, so we'll see what happens then. But right now we're four one, so um, still pretty solid uh, at the top of uh, whatever the division or like whatever the thing is. We're still we're still pretty high up, so. Um, we'll make playoffs and we'll try to uh, come through there. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Not sure who we play next, but yeah, whoever it is, it should be a fun match. We we're only facing friends out here. Like it's it's a fun it's a fun time to be doing draft. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, and peace.